Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Today is a very, very special day, and that is because I have two nieces and a nephew. It's their birthday today. I've got another niece and nephew, but three of them share the same birthday today. I know, quite a lot to get your head around. But I've got um, I've got my niece and my nephew who are twins, and they have turned 12 today, and I've got my little niece who is four today. So they mean the world to me, love them to pieces, and I do this every year. I have done so for a couple of, quite a, quite a few years now as it's, as it's been going on. Of course, my, uh, my youngest uh, niece, I've been doing that since we found out that she came into the world. And, um, and yeah, my niece and my nephew as the twins are, um, I've been doing this for a little while and capturing, uh, this moment on my channel and just seeing them grow and develop in their, in their own characters is, uh, is an absolute privilege. It really, really is. Um, it makes me feel very privileged, very blessed, um, very humbled and, uh, yeah, just, just beautiful in awe of watching them grow um, and develop into their characters. I love them to pieces. I love all of my nieces and nephews to pieces. And um, yeah, not blessed with children myself, but I hope and I have faith that that's in my plan. But right now, um, it is pretty damn special to watch them grow and to see them change. And especially the twins uh, who are 12, and they have really, uh, in this last 12 months, really, really altered and changed and, and grown up, but at times you can still see that they are a child, which I think is still beautiful, is still really, really important. They're incredible, absolutely incredible souls. They really, really are. They've got the, their own interests, um, which I love. And I, I've just made the mistake of saying the twins, and I'm a twin, and that's what my myself and Cameron always hate, is people... Uh, as people labeling us as one, as the twins. I think it's a bit different when they're younger. Um, at the moment, they are the twins. And, uh, and, and I love that. I really love that. My uh, older, older, uh, niece and nephew, um, they are twins as well. Unfortunately, I don't see them, but it doesn't mean to say that they're, they're not in my heart and I, and I don't love them and adore them and they're always in my prayers. Um, my, my two, uh, my niece and nephew, uh, whose birthday it is today and my niece at four, um, as I say, this year has been pretty, pretty special. It really, really has been. Um, and, th uh, the, my, my twin niece and nephews, uh, they have just started secondary school this year. So they've got a lot of adventures to come and they're, they're really changing and growing and developing. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're really, really cool. And as I say, I love them to pieces. My little niece who's turning four, you'd think that she was nearly 14, but she's actually four. And I mean, what she's been through, she's, absolutely an inspiration. She really, really is. Um, but all three of them, uh, just in their own ways, they're so, so different. Um, they really are. I've got one who's into everything, which I never ever thought she would, would be into. I always wanted, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted, um, we, we share, we've always shared so much of an interest in regards to art and, um, sort of painting and drawing and modeling and, and those type of things. And, and my niece also likes, um, baking and, uh, and getting involved in that. And she loves to prepare her own food and things like that as well. She's got very, very strong likes and dislikes. Um, and yeah, credit to her. She's in, she's inspirational. She's incredible. She sticks to her guns. She is into all the things which you wouldn't necessarily straight away think that a girl of her age would be into. Um, she absolutely loves being out on it, being out on her bike, doing her own thing, exploring with friends and, and with her phone and, and YouTubing. And, um, and yeah, she's honestly, she really, it really, she's a, she's an incredible girl. I love her to have been, um, I mean, I've got one niece who's very glittery and very uh, into her, sort of her dresses and on her hair and her long blonde hair and everything at four. And um, she's adorable. And the other day she came in with these little high shoes on and that's, that's her all over and everything's got to be pink and glittery. And I love, love, love that. And she is such a, such a princess. My other niece, whose birthday is today, um, she is so far different from that. She is her own character, which they all are, of course. And, um, yeah, it's, it, it's lovely. It really, really is. And, uh, it's, it's going to be an absolute privilege and adventure to watch them grow and to keep, changing and developing and and yeah i love them to pieces my nephew now he is very very much into his gaming and he has 
we were a little bit worried when he was going to be joining secondary school, but there was nothing to worry about. He's doing so, so well. He's doing so incredible. And it really is a blessing to see him come out of his shell. And do you know what? I think it's just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And yeah, he's he's into his gaming and he's not necessarily so much... Um, he won't necessarily uh, come up to me and start a conversation I've always got to, which I love. I love that, um, being able to, to, to take the time to actually share or sort of gain an interest. You've really got to approach him and you've got to go to him. And I, and I love that. They're, as I say, they're so, so different and he's done so incredibly well. Um, and, and I, and I love that. And as I say, they, they're really very special. They, they mean the world to me. I'm a very proud uncle. I love them to pieces. Um, yeah, I mean, when I was my nephew's age, I loved being into games and, and gaming and, uh, and his is the Xbox, but mine back then was a PlayStation and PC games and everything like that. And I loved that. Not so much as him, um, but he's very much almost a gaming guru already. And with his headset on and, and his friends and talking to and that, it's, uh, it's a blessing. He's, he's, um, yeah, he's a, he's a really, really cool chap. And, um, as I say, just sat here now thinking that they're 12. I remember when my sister-in-law gave birth to them and I went with my brother and my mum to the hospital to see them. And I was just so bowled over that my brother, yet again, because my oldest brother had twins and now my next brother down was having twins and had the twins. And I remember seeing them. I remember seeing them be so small and so precious, they're still precious now. And I'm an absolute privilege uh, to me is I'm their godfather, which I love. And as a lot of my subscribers will know, that faith is everything to me. And I love the fact um, that I am their godfather. And I did push for my little niece to be godfather, but they haven't gone that way yet. You never know. I still try to keep asking the question. But um, but yeah, and they were that my twin niece and nephew they were so cute babies they really really were and and i used to go over with my brother and sister-in-law and have dinner and sometimes we used to do movie nights and things when she was expecting them and um and seeing them grow and change and and back then my niece was always into girly uh things in pink and always yeah very much like that and then she changed and credit to her and she stuck to her changes and she's still of course changing and um yeah and my nephew he was always such a, a cuddly little um always such a cute cheeky chap and um yeah absolutely um honestly his his at the moment he's sort of himself and i do see him changing and he's it's yeah just they're both adorable to be quite honest they really really are and they're, they're going on late teenage years by when you talk to them but there will always be those little kids. And, um, yeah, I, I love that. They're, they're growing up though. And they're not little children. I've got to remind myself that, that they are, um, they're 12 years old. And do you know what? They are developing. They've got their own mind. And, and yeah, it's great. It, it really is great. I think as an adult, as an adult uncle, I think even it must feel like that when you have children, that there's a piece of them which will always stay with you as almost when they're really, really tiny. Um, and I love that. And I've shared holidays with them. And um, my nephew loves swimming and love being in the water. And last year, that was incredible getting the um, opportunity to spend time with them. And it was Uncle Bradley, I, like coming in the pool and everything like that. So that was lovely. I've got lovely memories of them with that. And um, yeah, incredible swimmers, honestly. And they're really, really uh, amazing in the water and in all different activities and things like that as well. And as I say, yeah, really, really proud of them. And uh, they're, they've done really, really well for stepping in this world, in this day and age now of which this world is. Um, and it's changed a lot. I've left school now nearly 14 years and it's changed. The whole world is changing all the time, isn't it? And I really did worry as an uncle and I really did feel for them joining and stepping up into secondary school. But they've done incredible and they're going to do incredible and they're going to be absolutely fine. Um, my little niece, uh, my youngest niece, wow, how she has, she was born at 28 weeks and she was, of course, very, very premature and she's had a lot of health setbacks, but every time she's, she's smashed through those walls, she really, really has. And she's just, she's, she loves, I mean, swimming, um, horse riding, I think at some point ballet. Um, she was doing ice skating only this week. And my other, my other twins, um, niece, niece and nephew, their birthday is, uh, today. Um, ice skating, not so much. I don't believe my niece is, I think, 
I think she enjoys it. She's quite good at it. Um, but my youngest uh, niece absolutely loves it. So, of course, they're all different, which I love. And they're all very different in their characters. And I love Christmas and their birthdays. I, I do try to buy them all different unique gifts to themselves. And Christmas, we all come together Christmas Eve. And I love that. And I see them often. Um, not so much my nephew. He's always busy gaming and one thing and another and being out and about. And yeah, but if it's not their bikes, it's scooters and one thing like that. And um, yeah, I, um, yeah, my youngest niece, I see her perhaps a little bit more, um, maybe because that's my twin brother's little girl. Um, but oh, honestly, such a privilege what she's come through with different health problems. And she's very much into her clothes and her dresses and, and um yeah, it's honestly some the other day it did touch my heart actually because the other day she accidentally called me dad and I thought <gasps> not quite yet have I been blessed with children but I'm hoping that that is in my plan and as I say if not because we can't always guarantee that then I'd like to think that the Lord and I know have faith in that that, that I'm meant for something else and that I'm I've got to be doing something else um who knows it could be to spread kindness it could be to to make goodness happen um but yeah so on that note me babbling on i could do all day about my nieces and nephews and uh, i've been blessed with five and of course three of them it's their birthday today so god bless you and if you're watching this and hopefully you are lacy so lacy reese and sienna god bless you and i love you very very much and have a very very magical happy happy birthday and yeah i'll be seeing you real soon and um let's put this in those archive that straw away video of me wishing you a very very happy birthday and love you lot and um yeah from your uncle bradley god bless and i'll be seeing you real soon a very very happy birthday to lacy a very happy birthday to reese and a very happy birthday to sienna bye for now <laughs>